thought in the first half North Carolina was very good. And I think that was offensively we were really bad. And uh, you know, you have to give those guys credit. I thought they defended us well, but I thought we didn't react well to it either. We didn't move well without the ball. Uh, we were soft with the ball going to the basket. They stripped it out of our hands. They blocked shots. Uh, then we had good shots. Couldn't make any of the good ones. Missed foul shots. Uh, but uh, they were pretty good in the first half. I thought in the second half we came out and really competed hard and played well. Shot a great percentage from the field. We did, did some things really well in the second half. Unfortunately, we were had dug ourselves too big of a hole. Shot clock. There are a couple shot clock violations early on. Was, was the team just? Did it take them a while mentally? I guess just to recover from that big run by North Carolina early on. No, we just have to execute better. And one of the five guys might want to look up and see what how much time's left on the clock, especially my point guards. And that's not very good. And it happened more than once. So that that was part of that was part of all of the things we seemed to do poorly in the first half. Is there an energy thing or intensity or something in the first half? Or just any any idea at all to explain it? No, I just think that uh, you know we just got off to a really slow start. We got to the foul line early, missed foul shots right to start the game. Um, we had a couple good looks early, missed those. You know, maybe sometimes when you're you got a young team, maybe they drop their head a little bit and start to get unsure. Um, and so it just kind of steamrolled there, I thought, in the first half. I did like the fact that we came out to start the half and we had a you know, great competitive spirit. Like I said, though, you're too big a hole at that point to overcome. Rob, right here. Coach Cat took 11 shots, I think, in the first mm -hmm. 13 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. What was the, was he getting rattled or what do you think? Well, I thought he had a, the other guys on the floor weren't moving very well without the ball. And, uh, you know, now he's out there thinking, who am I going to pass it to without him stealing the ball? And so his answer was to take it to the basket. And, you know, we still have to execute our offense better. You know, just a couple of nights ago, we played against a really good Florida State defensive team. We're moving without the ball. Uh, their pressure really doesn't bother us. Here we come a couple of days later, and, and now we seem to just stand around, and, and it puts a lot of pressure on the ball handler at that point to try to make a play. There's a small lineup you guys used in the second half. Mm -hmm. How much of that success can you dictate about matchups or just in a big picture of hey, some, just... some matchups, um, some trying to get our best scores on the floor and, uh, you know, spread the floor. And, and, you know, we wanted to get them, see if we could get to the bonus, which we were able to. Then we wanted to see if we could get to where we were, you know, get to the double bonus, which we were able to do. So we were able to penetrate them and, and really take them off the dribble. Uh, so that was actually a good thing. So some of it's matchups, some of it's just the flow of the game. Some of it depends on who's playing well at that time. Coach, you had a couple of comeback wins. Mm -hmm. You had a good second half today. Anything to explain the trend? No, we just got to play for 40 minutes, and, uh, and we didn't do that today. You know, that was a it was just a bad first half. Much better second half. Second half. I don't know that there's. You know, any particular reason for that. Uh, Coach State shot 65% in mm -hmm. the second half. Mm -hmm. The drive penetration, is mm -hmm. that something you need to continue this year? You think they At times, that? yeah. Now we still need to be able to have our forward score. Like today, Kyle just struggled. You know, for a young guy, that was, uh, I haven't really seen Kyle struggle like that. And, you know, we all have him. He had one today. Could not get the ball in the basket. Uh, but we still need those interior guys to score some too. But, um, we were able to get to the rim with our perimeter players, so we just stayed with it. We just kept trying to attack at that point off the drill. What's up, man? I thought he hated it for the second half. Obviously, he led the way himself. Is there something that you can build off of that, just the way yep. Desmond competed like that? I, I don't think it was only Desmond. I thought in the second half, our team did a much better job. We, we showed a lot of spirit in the second half. Um, we just looked dazed in the first half. You look like a dazed team. Is this a good time to have the week off, you think? Oh, I don't know. I'd like to play tomorrow, really, to be real honest. We just can't, so we'll see. When, when you talk about dazed, we're doing like a dazed team, is that the product of uh, a young team coming in here for the first time? The, you know, the rivalry, the atmosphere, you may be getting caught up too much in the mood? 
Maybe. I don't know. You know, we've been on the road in tough places and played well. And so, I don't know about all that. Man. We are a young team, but... And I think that they're very talented. You know, I know, you know Royce kind of said maybe this wasn't as... You know, from a talent point of view, not one of his more talented teams, but I see size, length, good ball handling. You know, Paige and McDonald can make threes. You know, they're, they're getting better. That team right there is getting a lot better right now. What did they do to take TJ out of his rhythm until about seven or eight minutes? <coughs> I think they just turned around and tried to deny him the ball. And uh, we didn't do a very good job of, you know, reacting to that. Matchup-wise, do they, does UNC match up better against TJ just with the players they have? I think if we move better without the ball, we'll be all right. So I think they're very good. Um, they did a great job today defending him, but I think if we move a little bit better, I think we're going to be in a little better shape. You guys good? Thanks. Josh.